dear students in the previous classes we have discussed short run and long run production function isocons and returns to scale in this session we discuss another important characteristic of the production function namely how easy it is to substitute capital for labor we know that as we move from left to right along an isocon labor is substituted for capital or we will say that capital labor ratio decreases now the question is how it is how easy it is to substitute capital for labor so the possibility of substitution between capital and labor is a question of the shape of the isocon rather than the entire isocon map stated differently the shape of the curvature of an isocon is determined by how easy it is to substitute one input for another input now we know that along an isocon as me we move from left to right marginal rate of technical substitution decreases we also know that as we move from left to right k by l also decreases so if this is labor and this is capital as you move from left to right along an isocon from our previous discussion we know that mrs decreases all those slope increases we also know that k by l ratio decreases so mrs decreases k by l ratio also decreases so how quickly it is or how easy it is to substitute capital for labor this is, this determines the curvature of the isocon now we wish to define some parameter that measures this degree of responsiveness that is as you move from left to right mrs decreases k by l also decreases and we wish to define some parameter that define that measure the degree of responsiveness now <coughs> if a rts does m not a mrs mrt is marginal rate of technical substitution and mrs is associated with indifference scale so if rts does not change at all for changes in k by l we say that substitution is easy as k by l increases if mrts does not change and we know that mrts is equal to mbl by mb we have proved this mrts is equal to mbl by mbk so as k by l changes if mrts does not change it is easy to substitute capital for labor because mbl by mbk is a constant so naturally as k by l increases sorry decreases if mrts is remaining the same it is easy to substitute capital for labor in that case 
the curvature of the isocond will be very low. Curvature is very low. We will see this specifically. Now, if MRTS change rapidly as K by L decreases, if MRTS change rapidly, even for small changes in the K by L ratio, we say that substitution is difficult. Because even for small changes in K by L, MRTS changes considerably. That means MBL and MBK changes considerably. In such cases, a minor change in the input mix causes substantial change in the ratio MBL by MBK. So, substitution is difficult. Now, a scale-free measure of the responsiveness, a scale-free measure of this responsiveness is given by elasticity of substitution. So, elasticity of substitution is a scale-free measure of the responsiveness of K by L and MRTS. K by L and MRTS. And we cannot say that change in MRTS is due to change in K by L or change in K by L is due to change in MRTS. That is a different issue. What we consider is a relative measure of these two changes in order to see the curvature of the isocont. Now, given that the production function is, is a function of Q and E, sorry, K and E L. Given the production function Q is a function of K and E L, the elasticity of substitution denoted as sigma is the proportionate change in the K by L ratio divided by the proportionate change in the MRTS. Proportionate change in K by L divided by proportionate change in MRTS. So, sigma is equal to percentage change in K by L divided by percentage change in MRTS. Percentage change in K by L divided by percentage change in MRTS can be written as D K by L by K by L all divided by D MRTS by MRTS. That is proportionate change in K by L divided by proportionate change in MRTS. Now this can also be written as equal to D K by L by D MRTS into into MRTS by K by L MRTS by K, K by L can also be written as equal to D LN K by L divided by D LN MRTS. D LN K by L divided by D LN MRTS. D LN K by L divided by D LN MRTS. And can also be written as D LN K by L divided by D LN FL by FK because MRTS is equal to MBL by MBK. So this is a scale free measure of the relative responsiveness of K by L and MRTL as we move from left to right along an isocot. Now as you know, you consider the point, point A, point B. At point A, the slope is given by the slope of the tangent. Here also, the slope is given by the slope of the tangent. 
and k by l is given by these angles k by l. Now let it be defined as k by l a and k by l b k by l a and k by l b now as you can see as you move from a to b what happens is k by l decreases you also see that mrts decreases because the slope of the tangent is low at b compared to a so as you move from a to b mrts decreases or simply RTS decreases, K by L also decreases. As both the numerator and denominator move in the same direction, sigma elasticity of substitution is positive. Elasticity of substitution is positive. Remember that elasticity of substitution is positive. Now, <laughs> remember this, as both MRTS and K by L move in the same direction, sigma is positive. Also, when we move from A to B, both MRTS and also K by L changes. Now, what we want to measure is the relative magnitude of these changes. A relative magnitude of these changes. First case is sigma is high, delta, sorry, percent that is delta k by l by k by l divided by delta RTS by RTS. Sigma high means. Sigma high means the value of this ratio is very high. That means RTS will not change considerably when K by L changes. That is relative change in RTS is small compared to the relative change in K by L. In that case, the isoquant will be relatively, relatively flat. If sigma is high, Isoquant is relatively flat. If a capital and labor are perfect substitutes, as we will see later, isoquant will be a straight line. Substitution is easy. If a sigma is low, if sigma is low, sigma is low means it, it implies that when K by L changes, there will be substantial change in RTS. In that case, it, the curvature will be very high. The curvature of the isoquant will be very high. So if the isoquant is very sharp curved, then we will conclude that elasticity of substitution is low. Sigma high means curvature is low. Sigma low means curvature is high. Now, in general, it is possible that elasticity of substitution vary from one point to another point. As you move from one point to another point along an isoquant, elasticity of substitution changes. But for convenience, we assume that sigma is a constant along an isoquant. Sigma is a constant along an isoquant. For convenience, we assume that sigma is a constant. As it is known to you from your uh, studies in degree classes, uh, in the Cobb Douglas production function, sigma is assumed to be 1. In the CES production function, it is a constant that we will see later. Also, if a production function exhibits constant returns to scale, 
sigma can be written as fl into fk pi f into f lk for a production function exhibiting constant returns to scale sigma can be written as fl into fk by f into flk this we will see with examples later so this is elasticity of substitution but remember this in real world fm uses many inputs so the question is how to generalize the elasticity of substitution when there are many inputs it is rather complicated one approach is we define elasticity of substitution between two inputs only between two inputs keeping the keeping the input of other or keeping other inputs constant that is we define sigma between two inputs as proportionate change in the ratio of two inputs to proportionate change in rts between these holding constant the other inputs sorry uh, holding constant the output that means we will not consider other inputs so if there are many inputs we consider only the moment along an iso point with respect to two inputs only and the sigma elasticity of association between i and j is equal to do ln x i x j divided by do ln f i by f k this is what we do we consider x i and x j are two inputs any two inputs these are marginal productivities of the ith and jth inputs so we consider the elasticity of substitution between any two inputs holding constant output but the problem is <coughs> this definition will be clear if and only if other inputs are remaining constant but we know that in the real world other inputs will not remain the same so it is not easy to study the concept of elasticity of substitution when many inputs which change simultaneously are considered even if we we consider the case of a case of movement along a single isopoint so there is an alternative definition of sigma such uh, uh, taking into account all the complementarities and substitutability between inputs in the context of cost functions not in the context of production function so in the real world there are many inputs to study the relationship between any two inputs we assume that output is held constant we also assume that in the the input of other factors are also constant but in the real world the other inputs will not remain constant because of substitution and complementarity between inputs used in the production process then the analysis of elasticity of substitution is more complicated anyway in the case of two inputs the definition is very easy it is a scale free measure of the relative strength of the proportional change in k by l and proportional change in rts and it gives us information about the curvature if a, if a rts is very low rts is very low then rts is so if sigma is high then rts will not change much it will be almost a straight line if sigma low means rts change considerably curvature will be very high